Hi, I'm Mark in the Brown Works Wood Shop. And this is a new channel. And we're going to talk mainly about our wood shop. Our, our main channel, Brown Works, we talk about our products, our product releases, and firearms and things of that nature. Here we're going to talk about the equipment that we use and some of the things that we've learned with this equipment. Um, so we're going to have some fun. So first I want to show you, this is one of our current uh, CNC machines that we use to make our products. Uh, we use two of these in our production. And these, this is uh, CNC Piranha. This is by Next Wave Automation. And it's really a very small CNC machine. This is more, uh, most people will say this is more of a hobby type of machine but we've been in production using this to produce our grips. Um, it's a small machine. It's only a, a foot wide by maybe two, you have two foot of, uh, of uh, surface area to, to use. So this is plenty enough uh, to make our grips. Uh, we use a very small amount of this. Uh, the height, our z-axis here, it only gives us about four inches of movement, um, but that's fine for what we are using it for. Uh, one of the reasons why we wanted to upgrade this is, uh, number one, it uses a, uh, a basic uh, palm router as the cutting tool, and... These things, they're fine for small projects, but they're really not meant to be run all day long. I have, uh, this is uh, some of the dead <laughs> routers that I have. This is only a small fraction of the routers I've gone through that we burnt up, um, mainly because they, they heat up so much when you're using it for hours on, on time at a time and some of the parts inside are, are uh, we, we've used different different routers and some of the parts are plastic and when it heats up really hot um, some of those things melt <laughs> inside so we've gone through quite a quite a bit of um, routers and we tried to keep them lubricated um, but sometimes just running them uh, takes takes a lot out of them so the other thing is these are, like I said, regular routers, but we have to, when we change, uh, we got to manually change bits. And uh, sometimes some of the grips that we make are pretty complex and we have to change different uh, cutting bits uh, several times throughout making uh, one pair. So we have to stop, stop the process and change bits, re-zero out, you know, figure out the, you know, the, the starting points, um, then start the, the, pro the program back up, and that takes some time. Um, we just got a new machine that's going to alleviate some of those. We'll still use this machine, probably for some, like, prototyping and things of that nature. And we'll do other videos uh, about using this, this type of machine and some of the things that we've learned. So, uh, stay tuned for some videos of that nature in the near future. So let's move on to what we just, uh, got. I want to show you some pictures of when it came off the truck. And then we've got it set up here. This is a Laguna IQ Pro. And like I said, it just we just got it situated. We had to get an uh, electrician out here to get a you know power run for it. Um, this is the control box here. And the control box here for this uh uh, CNC Piranha is this little tiny control box here 
with its its pendant so here's the new machines control box and the pendant the control pendant for it and here is the actual machine here the Laguna IQ Pro now this table uh, is a lot wider it's a it's at least two foot wide three foot deep so again we for making one set of grips uh, we only use a small fraction of that um, but one of the capabilities of this we'll be able to make uh, you know multiple sets at one time so we'll be able to lay out multiple work pieces and run that uh, some of the other features is it does have a vacuum table so there's a massive uh, vacuum pump that's hooked to this thing and that connects up to the bed which has a vacuum table we'll uh, have an in-depth video in the future of how to use the vacuum table but it has little plugs that open up holes and you can um, uh, zone off different areas uh, it also has some embedded uh, rails okay and these are t-slot rails where we can put different clamps and such on there um, one of the other features of this is instead of using a a router this uses a spindle okay and this is a water cold spindle so one of the other things is we have a uh, a, a cooling system that pumps water through this uh, spindle to keep it cool it also has um, a automatic tool changer so that's the tool that's in it and then back in the in the back here we can uh, put spots for five different um, bits and for what we're doing that's plenty uh, that accommodates a lot of different uh, tools that we can use and for making our grips that's that's going to be more than enough um, for what we need and in order for that to work we also need to hook up um, an air supply because it's uh, pneumatic so we have uh, air hooked up to it that's uh, another thing that goes up to the spindle and you have some uh, air con um, adjustments that can blow the uh, the wood chips out uh, of the way there's some different controls and things of that nature um, so I'm just starting to use this we haven't really used it enough to give you a good review of it uh, but we'll be doing some other videos in using this uh, new machine so I'd like you to stay tuned to that and I appreciate you watching. If you want to see more of the tools and want to have discussions about how we use some of the tools in our shop, please subscribe. And we're definitely not experts uh, in some of these tools. I know there's, there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of in-depth knowledge. So please leave us comments on our videos if, uh, if you've used some of these tools and have some good experiences or bad experiences we'd love to hear from everyone so i thank you and bye for now